So we're back um, again, promoting the uh, Holy Face. Um, big, the main, um, the main work that we're doing in the concert on Sunday, the 9th of June. Not very many days away. Um, with the Sheffield City Philharmonic Chorus, uh, Halifax Choral Society, um, Yorkshire Youth Choir, Black Dyke Band, um, and a host of others. Um, it's going to be big, big noise, and you really need a big, big noise for this next bit. It's the, um, the climax of the drama of when Salome is dancing before Herod and uh, getting him to give her a rather unusual present. Um, uh, and this bit really reminds me of the feeling of Belshazzar's Feast, which has become a real favourite amongst um, uh, cor choral societies and, and amongst audiences because of its real dramatic um, uh, narrative. Uh, so let's just uh, get this going here. By the way, Diem Natalem Felicium um, sounds like this really heavy uh, uh, Latin. It's virtually the only place in the, uh, in the whole piece where Latin is used. It means happy birthday. Um, but this is rather an aggressive, heavy form of happy birthday. Uh, it's not going to be a very happy... It's not, well, it's not going to resemble many of my birthday parties anyway. <laughs> And it's full of sort of sexual uh, lust, I think. Because we've got the really strong driving bass, and you've got the soprano solo on the top fluttering amongst them. I can really imagine her. Um, I, I imagine it. You've got Salome dancing before Herod. I've got imagine uh, the soprano is going to have this fan with her, and she's going to be doing Salome. Um, uh, anyway, that's just me. We'll skip that just because uh, I want to keep some surprises for you. Um, then we go back into 